Okay, welcome to the show today. I wanted to talk about flagrant fouls. What flagrant fouls are, what's the difference between a flagrant one and a flagrant two. We're gonna find out today, which is worse, a flagrant one or a flagrant two. Two, so flagrant one, what is that? It is a foul when you use excessive contact, when you go for a ball, when you do something that you don't necessarily have to do. So a lot of times like end of game fouls or like take fouls end up being excessive because you are trying to foul the guy. If you're trying to foul the guy, you might get a flagrant foul. I think that's typically when it happens when a guy is trying to foul a guy. He's not going for the ball. It's not inadvertent. He's trying to do it. What's a flagrant two? It's when you use excessive contact. So the first one is unnecessary. The second one is excessive. So excessive, what I've realized, this is what I believe, is when you foul a guy and he has the opportunity to be injured. Opportunity to be injured, that's not, he is in a position where he is vulnerable and he could be hurt and you foul him and you endanger him, you endanger his body, you endanger him, he could possibly get injured from this, then you have committed a flagrant two foul. That's the way I see it. Because what's ex what's excessive and what's unnecessary, they almost seem cinema synonymous with each other. So... We're gonna go through a couple different fouls today. We're gonna take a look at them. We're gonna decide, should it have been a flagrant two? Should it be a flagrant one? Should it just be a regular old foul? Okay, so when they stop a play, when there's a foul and they wanna review it, before they would call flagrant twos, they would just call them as they saw them back before they had reviews. So basically only, only flagrant twos and flagrant ones you got were very unnecessary contact that the refs see. So now it's like in the speed of play, they slow things down, they show the unnecessary contact and it's a little more, uh, they call them a lot more frequently because you can run stuff back and see what you missed. So what do they look for? They look for, is it excessive? Should it be a flagrant one? Should it be a flagrant two after a foul? And then they look, did anyone commit any uh, unsportsmanlike conduct after that we should, that uh, should receive a technical foul? So that's what they look for when they review a technical foul. A flagrant two, you are ejected. You are gone. You cannot play anymore, man. If you get two flagrant ones in a game, you are also ejected. So if you watch soccer, it's like a red card is a flagrant two, a yellow card is a flagrant one. So now you know. A flagrant foul always results in two two uh, free throws and then you get the ball back. So they're not good. You shouldn't do them. Keep in mind, uh, don't be unnecessarily aggressive. Even when you know you have to commit a foul, just go for the ball. If you go for the ball recklessly, you will commit a foul. Let's take a look at a couple flagrant fouls today. Okay, so this first one here is Dylan Brooks pushing Steph Curry. Is this excessive? Yes, I believe it is. Is it unnecessary? Of course. He's shoving him to the ground. Looks like he's frustrated. Looks like they're, you know, they're down. It's a pretty, uh, I don't know, maybe Steph kind of bumped him before, but he's mad. He's mad at Steph and he shoves him. It is excessive. So is it a flagrant two? No. Gets called as a flagrant one. Why did he get called as a flagrant one? Because he wasn't going to hurt Steph. He pushes him into the ground. He probably hurt his knee or something, skinned it up, but it's not going to affect his play. He's not going to have to sit out. He's not going to miss any time. So that is why I believe this was called a flagrant one. All right, this one really sucks. This one, again, this is... Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks hacks the heck out of hell. Hacks the hell out of Gary Payton, too. Payton, right down the middle, he's Ooh. fouled hard. It's pretty gnarly. When he's coming down the court, it doesn't really look that bad from the angle of, you know, the TNT angle, but when you see it, he hits him in the head, and he hits him in the head hard, and he comes down and he swings. This is probably the most obvious of all of them, of flagrant twos, in my opinion. So, yeah, definitely deserved it. I really feel bad for Gary Payton, because Gary Payton the second, because, no, not the second. Gary Payton actually has another son, Gary Payton the second, or Gary Payton Jr. This is Gary Payton too. But Gary tries to hold his arm back. He tries to stabilize himself. I think it's a very natural thing that a human does, but he should have just landed on his ass, probably, you know, bruised up his tailbone, but unfortunately he didn't, and he knocked his elbow out. Ugh, it's pretty bad. But, yeah, Dylan Brooks, you, uh, yeah, you deserve that, pal. So, yes, that's a flagrant too. All right, and here we have one of my least favorite players, Marcus Morris. Does a very lazy play. He doesn't get in front of Jaw. Jaw goes up for a dunk. Fine. And this is a flagrant too. Why? Because Jaw gets really high when he jumps and Marcus Morris affects his direction. He's in the air, he's vulnerable, he affects his landing, so he changes his center of gravity, so he hurts himself. He lands on his back. It's really nasty. It's a very dirty play by Marcus Morris. I am not a fan of him. I really don't like him. All right, this is Chris Middleton, and this is just as bad. This is a flagrant two. It should be a flagrant two because Chris Middleton is running back on Bruce Brown to block his shot. He tries to get a piece. He doesn't even come close, and he grabs him by the arm. 
I think it was inadvertent. It was it was bad. It was a cheap play, but Middleton feels bad. He tries to help him up. He knows that it's a flagrant too. I don't think this is as bad. I think it was just in the moment he was trying to block it and he knew he did something wrong. It was just reckless. So flagrant two still because Bruce Brown did get hurt and it was really nasty, but not as bad as Marcus Morris. I hate Marcus Morris. I don't hate him. I don't hate anyone, but he's frustrated. He's a frustrating player to watch. Okay, this is a foul on Draymond Green. Draymond Green grabs Brandon Clark as he's going for a layup and he Grabs him by the grabs him by the collar. He can't do it. It is excessive. It is a flagrant one. But what gave him the flagrant two? And I think this is very odd. To the naked eye, it looks like a flagrant two. It looks pretty aggressive. But he grabs him by the collar. But I think he grabs him by the collar. It's a bad foul. But he tries to make sure that he doesn't hurt himself. He tries to hold him up by his jersey. I'm not a Golden State Warriors fan. I'm not even particularly a Draymond Green fan. But I do believe that's what he was trying to do. So it kind of sucks. I think it should have been a flagrant one. But they give him a flagrant two. I can understand both sides. But I respect Draymond Green for trying to make sure that Brandon Clark didn't get hurt. Good good on you, Draymond. Sorry, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the show. I think this was a fun game. I think it's going to do better on TikTok than it does on YouTube, like most videos. But uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks for showing out. Kiss a dog. Love your mother. Uh, give, your, uh, give someone a call. Give someone a... I don't know. Eat a hot dog.